Hi there, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm making Naden Kerala style chicken curry. This chicken curry can be served with chapati, roti, idiyappam, appam, bread or even rice. To make Kerala style chicken curry, heat coconut oil in a heavy bottomed kadai or a pan. Once the oil is heated, add in the whole spices. The ingredients list will be given in the description box below. Give it a light stir. Now add in the chopped onions, green chilies, ginger and garlic which I have sliced finely fresh curry leaves now give this a nice mix add in salt to taste mix well again and allow the onions to lightly brown on low flame it's about 10 minutes now and you can see that the onions have started to brown but we need to brown this a little more maybe another two minutes now the onions are almost brown and now with the flame on the lowest we are going to add in some masalas I'm adding in Kashmiri chili powder coriander powder garam masala powder the recipe for the garam masala is on the i card above turmeric powder now give this a nice mix remember the flame is on the lowest we want the masalas to be lightly roasted so that the raw flavor is diminished i'm roasting the masala for about a minute Now I'm adding in chopped tomatoes. Give this a nice mix. Add in a little bit of water. The water helps the tomato to bind and mix well. Now we are going to cover and cook the tomatoes. For about two to three minutes it's about three minutes now let's check on the tomatoes the tomatoes have cooked well and you can see that oil has started releasing out gently mash it with a spoon so that the tomatoes are nicely blended and mashed add in some more fresh curry leaves sort the tomatoes on low flame for another five to seven minutes so that the masala is nicely browned and blended well with the tomatoes you can see oil has started releasing out and the masala comes together into a ball like consistency so it's nicely blended this recipe is my mother-in-law's even though the recipe and the ingredients are very simple it's a slow roasting of the onions and the tomato and the masala which takes this chicken curry to the next level at least that is what my mother-in-law taught me so you need little patience to make this curry and low flame is the key. Now it's time to add in the chicken pieces. Now give this a nice mix. Now again we are going to roast the chicken on low flame for another 10 to 12 minutes. We are not going to add any water now.
we need the moisture in the chicken to be absorbed and the chicken to be lightly fried in the masala so do not add any water simply allow the chicken to roast in the masala remember i am using a heavy bottomed pan if you are using a non stick pan you might have to put the flame on medium heavy bottomed pan retain more heat so it's okay if i keep the flame on lowest and yes more curry leaves mix well make sure you make sure you stir the chicken on and off so that it does not get stick to the pan it's about 10 minutes now and the chicken is almost cooked 3/4 cooked now i'm going to add in some water about 3/4 cup and bring this to a boil so put the flame on high and allow this to boil and once it starts to boil cover it with a lid and simmer for another 10 minutes so that the chicken is nicely cooked it's about 10 minutes now let's check on the curry the curry looks perfect the chicken is nicely cooked now add in pepper powder give this a nice mix more fresh curry leaves naden kerala style chicken curry is ready to serve let's switch off the flame this curry can be served with roti chapati rice or even bread once the gravy cools down the gravy will thicken a bit so adjust water accordingly if you like this recipe please give a thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more video updates do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out thank you for watching bye bye